another army building video as I dump out my entire collection and sort out my life. No wait, my life is still a mess. My collection is going to get there though. And I balance my figures out into new armies and factions. If you saw the thumbnail, I'm going to do an update on how I reorganized all my Vipers and my Marauders figures into a new army. Hey, what, what gives? You don't have the time to stand all these figures up? No, I don't. Well, other channels do that. Well, go watch their content. No, I was just joking. I love you. Please don't leave me. Here they are in stand. So this is one squad up front here using mostly Marauder Bucks. Uh, that, I think that's a Snake Eyes, but it doesn't matter. It blends with the Marauder guys. And I found some really cheap, like, knockoff. I don't even remember what it was, but it came with these helmets. So I was able to army build these. Man, those are really glowing and light here. But this is one squad. And then the back, using the O-rings, here's another squad that copies the same uh, task organization. So let's let's look at what we got here. Let's let's peek inside this can of peaches. The comparison, here's one squad, two squad, three squad, blue fish, now it's four squads. And then switching to the classic vipers, five, six squads. I had a couple leftovers, and then uh, a few spears that I use for commanders we'll go over later. All right, so let's let's start off with um, what the heck these guys are equipped with, right? Um, so I chose their basic rifle to be an L85, which is uh, a British bullpup style. This is what they use uh, instead of like how the US uses the AR or the M4, you know, the Colt system. Um, the magazine goes in the back, allows the, well, you, you don't care about that stuff. But anyways, it's unique. It's not totally alien, uh, but you know, it's not US perspective. So that'd be cool to have a different nation uh, be able to use these. So that's their standard, standard battle rifle. So up front here, this is the squad leader. I intermix whether they wear body armor or not. Some are just wearing harnesses, some are just wearing vests. It, it doesn't really matter to me, you know, it's their preference. But for the squad leader, they have to have some sort of advanced communications pack. So I took those battle droid packs. I sold all those battle droids a long time ago, but the packs were cool. So that's their radio one. It's like advanced comms, right? Maybe it's helping with the internet amongst the squad. It's protecting them from jamming. You know, it's long range communications, it calls for fires, that kind of stuff. Uh, and just kind of simple. This is the squad leader wearing the gray, which designates leaders in the Axie army. Then the next team up, you've got the machine gun team. So this is interchangeable. This is a heavy rifle. I picked the uh, SCAR uh, in order to do like a heavy rifle, which is actually what the SCAR is. It can do 7.62 um, and at one point it modified with five. You don't care about those things. But anyways, it's a heavier rifle. This is made to just reach out and punch somebody. It's not rapid fire. It's a long range heavy rifle. And then for the machine guns, I actually really prefer the Marauders uh mg6 i think it is 36 i don't remember which variant m6 um but it's the german machine gun very similar to the 34 and the 43 from world war ii uh, but this is their medium machine gun and this actually came off an apc i ran out of those marauders ones but th this one's kind of cool even though it's got wood stock in there and this clip that's supposed to spoke on there onto the vehicle it doesn't matter so machine gun team a machine gunner and assistant gunner. So those are the two teams up here. And they're usually under command of the squad leader, so you can tell them, go over there, go shoot things, and suppress for the entire rest of the squad, which is composed of two, lost your gun, two fire teams here. Boop, boop. Um, so both teams are made up of an NCO, right? So a team leader. This is usually gonna be uh, like an E4 type corporal or a sergeant E5 type. Um, not what they're called in the Axie Army, that doesn't matter. And equipped with a grenade launcher. So a lot of the U.S. Army still does the three, 320s now, 302s, where it's put on the bottom, 302, sorry, where it's put on the bottom of the rifle. But, you know, that's heavy, it's cumbersome. So this is drum-fed grenade launcher, because if you want to put down some suppression, you're going to put down just a lot of, doop, 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 you know, just putting those guys' heads down. So the squad leader has that for designation, uh, for, for suppressing. And then you've got heavy rifle in the team, and then two... Of your standard rifle so this is kind of the generic layout here heavy rifle reach out and penetrate grow up and then two battle rifles and a grenade, line, grenade launcher and that repeats with this team over here and that's your basic fire or your basic squad squad leader machine gun team and then two assault or rifle teams and i did the same thing for the o-ring style too Squad leader up front. I tried to match the helmet as best I could. And instead of the droid packs, because it doesn't really fit in, you know, I use the Televiper pack. It's cool. It's this weird beetle shell with an awesome smokestack antenna on it. I don't know. It looks that's his advanced comm package. And then again, here's some machine gun team. And then two rifle teams in the back there. 
And of course, if you like this kind of stuff, let me know. I'm a little teeny, teeny channel here, so all that engagement really helps. Uh, and here's a glimpse of some future units that I'm gonna be putting together, some light infantry and uh, some combat engineers. So comment, tell me, hey, I like that, it was cool. So these squads were made mostly using the Marauder Bucks here. A couple substitutions, like I think, uh, ah, yep, here we go. This one's actually the Baroness, the Resolute Baroness that I swapped out. And then there's another one that, yeah, I took out the high heels and put Cobra Commander, the Black Cobra Commander legs onto the Baroness body um, to help out with that too. Because I just didn't want, high heels just don't make sense in the battlefield, man. Um, so these are actually just a few substitutes, but again, going with the gray theme for the leadership, you know, black gray, black gray here, it works. And here's the other squads oriented the wrong way. Um, and then I started using these classic vipers. Okay, so the, the layout to the squads are the same. Uh, it's just different bodies here, but I'm, I'm gonna take a minute to, to just kind of rant here. This, this is the classic 86, which we all know and love. And I was lucky enough to get a bunch of these through, you know, buying <laughs> every, it's like every video, every video. <laughs> Um, and this one came out in that weird lull of G.I. Joe trying to come back to Toys R Us. I, I think he was on an ATV. He's washed out. He's not the best. It's just two colors here. But, you know, whatever. It was cool. I've got just three of them. And I was like, even then, I was like, that's good enough. But this one, this came in a six-pack. And at first, you're like, oh, yeah, six-pack of Vipers. Let me in on that. They're terrible. Terrible. I don't know what candy cane plastic they made from this but it is brittle and if you try to bend their knees up like this the crotches blow out like it, it's horrible and then i just put them on the stands and this has happened to more than one the heels absolutely just explode when you put them on the stands like here it is here's the back of the heel it's sitting over there i know this is grotesque and may get censored by youtube but it just blew out the back there and i wasn't shoving on there i was carefully like let's just slowly do a little twist <laughs> blows out like just the worst of you and there you can tell they're from the six packs they have this gray pointless band on the boots if you see these just put them on a shelf and don't play with them because they will just disintegrate like 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 i said like candy canes it's ridiculous and they so the, the arms the the hands are the hands are soft which is cool because you can shove bigger uh handled weapons into there which is nice but everything below the waist here he's just they call me Mr. Glass, you know, just terrible. It's the same task organization with, with these Vipers as it was the blue uh, and gray. The difference is there's no gray versions of these. So um, I started, I have a bunch of these and I'll show you in just a second. But when I started running lower, I wanted a little bit of variety. I would put in, you know, some of these, I don't know, purple, purple black ones, which actually are pretty sweet. I really like that design a lot or that color pattern a lot. Um, or these guys, you can see he's got the squad leader backpack uh, radio set. So those guys will sub in for the NCO positions. They are the leaders. Just something to designate. You know, I can't have quite the, the color designation as the gray, but I can fudge this in my brain as long as no YouTube commenters tear me apart and hurt my feelings. Uh, and this guy too can just kind of, you know, fills in, makes them stand a little bit more. It's not canonical, but you know, it's a substitute. Okay, so I guess it'd be a huge tease if I showed the thumbnail with all the vipers I didn't show them. So here, thanks for watching. See you next time. To the astute observer, you will notice that, and I've said this before, I have never cleaned these guys since July when we played with them outside, and I don't think I ever will. I like the dirt and grime on them, but yeah, I've got uh, I've got quite a few of these. Again, very lucky. To, hey, to get get just get. Uh, uh, very lucky to. Have to Um, very lucky to have gotten a bunch of these back in the day. So someone has commented like, oh, veteran collectors. Like, yeah, I guess I am a veteran collector. But yeah, I, I actually didn't have these as a kid. Um, I didn't have any as a kid. So what we do is we would go in high school and we started building the collection and we would trade. Um, we actually we actually sometimes would trade alcohol. This Statue of Limitations is found this right? Uh, and beer to our friends in order to get G.I. Joe. So they thought we were losers because they got toys. You know, oh, look at these morons, man. We got drunk and they give you toys. Yeah, well, now who's laughing? Because I have a bunch of G.I. Joes and you've got a beer gut. I think of all of them, though, my favorite ones are this blue and gray pack. 
Um, this is when I really could just army build, you know, in the store, actually go to the store and buy these great, these three packs. And obviously I have a ton of them. And this is when Joe and I really started playing. So this is what became and started raising an army from there. And like they're steeped in our lore and like these are forever attached to me. No matter how much better toys get, this is my, my nostalgia starting in the late 90s, early 2000s. So, um, you know, not a child, you know, technically a young adult. I also forgot to mention the role that those uh, infantry that you saw were. Those were light and regular infantry. These are actually heavy infantry. Um, these guys support and fight right alongside, sometimes on tanks. So I'm gonna do another video on um, these guys in the future as well. So really quick, I forgot to talk about these guys and gals. Uh, these are senior leaders, so whether it's like a sergeant major type, you know, an E9, very, very senior enlisted, or an officer, maybe a, a company grade or field grade above, you know, captains to majors, lieutenant colonels, but I wanted them to have matching with the uniforms, you know, grays, a lot of grays in here too, and then some blues, and after I started looking at this guy, I don't really like that blue and blue combo, that's kind of... Yeah, if I was an interior decorator, I would not blend those. But anyway, um, kind of matching with the same themes, going light. Now, now here's the thing about leaders, right? You look at Warhammer 40k, and the leaders are like these giant, hulking, you know, superhumans, even better than the Space Marines. But like, honestly, like a lot of times, your leaders, they don't have to be the strongest and the fastest, right? It's not their qualities you're trying to look for. If you just have some dumb brood out there, that's not what you really want. So they just look like regular stuff. They have the same rifles. They don't, they don't have any souped up rifles compared to the infantry or the soldiers that they're leading. They have the same exact firearms. Like they've all got those L85s, that battle rifle right there, right? Now, some of the helmets are, some of these are ones that are on the other troopers as well too, but honestly, they just start running out. If I had more, they'd be wearing them too. What I haven't started putting on them is what makes them distinct. And really, it's got to be some sort of electronic or communication. So I'm going to get some souped up backpacks for to go on there um, to identify them. Like if they're leaders, they're directing more of the fights, not actually fighting it themselves. Now, the one thing uh, here is I did allow a little bit of deviation, right? So like these two are the same. I think this is that modernized stinger driver body here, which ugh, those vipers, the worst articulation. This was out of an Arctic pack. Again, every time dumb. <sighs> And then here's the Resolute Baroness is just with different legs on there too. So here's just a little peekaboo because uh, these aren't quite done yet. But keeping the theme of the color motifs, I chose gray and I picked, I think this is, they use this buck a lot. It's an alley viper um, and it's also a couple other guys. I don't remember, but, uh, but anyways, this is a good gray. And then I started finding black vests. The Germans use black for their tankers in World War II. I think the Russians use black every now and then also. So this black and gray denotes that these are vehicle commanders or vehicle operators. And then to match these guys, I picked a couple low lights to go in there. Same kind of pattern, right? A little splash of red there, but that's pretty cool. So these are our vehicle operators. Now I haven't picked a helmet to go with all these yet. Uh, and maybe, maybe they go with, with a submachine gun. Usually nowadays you have the same standard arms regardless of where you go, a carbine. But I always loved the World War II tankers with their grease guns. Because all they would do is pop out the cupola and go And that's how we'd use a grease gun, right? So I, I love that idea that the tankers had something spe uh, specific to them. So maybe like these little U UMPs or these, uh, or oh, that's an HK, sorry. Um, or maybe the MP5s. I don't know. I don't know what to clip them yet, but this is going to be a future video with, uh, wow, it's all dudes too, huh? Man, with this sausage party on what vehicles they'll be driving. And here's the mess for the next video that's coming up. Uh, this is the other side, the Valens, uh, the guys who are mostly fighting against the axe that we just saw using the Cobra Vipers here. Um, yep. <laughs>